Uh, welcome to Fluent Pro webinar. Today we'll talk about the modern PMO and we'll discuss what Fluent Pro understands that, what are the market trends and our vision for, for uh, how the technology can support the PMO transformation and modern uh, organization transformation. Very briefly about myself, my name is Anton Kravtsov, I'm the CEO and President of the Fluent Pro Software Corporation. Our company is a software developer and we help uh, as well, we, we help companies implement Microsoft Project Online, Project Server and in general right now the work management and uh, portfolio and project management systems. Uh, but main our focus is developing the software, we help companies uh, optimize their experience using Microsoft Microsoft uh, PPM work management tools uh, and that's what we do. What is a modern workspace? Organization change and this time we see that over the last uh, years uh, there are multiple new uh, tools appear on the market and organization use and teams organization use variety of the tools to do their job. It can be Microsoft Project Online, it can be Visual VS, uh, VSTS uh, or Visual Studio Online. It can be Jira. Teams use, uh, organization use Teams for, for uh, collaboration. Uh, teams use Microsoft Office 365 Planner as lightweight tools. And the demand for the tools is that there is a highly specialized team. And for example, very simple that if it's software development team, Organization don't need to force and teams, they don't want to use the tools that don't match their profile. Development teams want to use Visual Studio or Jira. Marketing teams may be uh, perfectly fine with using the planner and they do their work in those tools in, in the most effective way. And for organizations, it's important that teams are effective and they do their work in the most uh, optimal way. Second trend that is happening is that uh, by, by projection in 2020, over 50% of the workforce will be uh, people from the 2000s. Uh, it's called, called millennial. So it means that they used to phones, they used to be connected, they want to use small application, lightweight application, and so very often they are, they, they confused and they don't want to use very complicated and uh, complex complex tool and very organized and complex uh, approaches and processes for for, the, for their work so organization also need to take that into account when when deploying the tools uh, and company-wide tools same time uh, with all that light work and with a variety of tools Management needs to get results uh, from uh, from their teams, and as well, management needs always to get information about the project and about the organization. Management need metrics. Management need data to make decision to make those decision quickly, and so those decisions are right as well. And if we talk about the PMO standpoint. Their focus is shifting, it's definitely still about the processes and organization, project management policies and organization. Uh, but the ultimate goal is to make sure that companies are effective, companies increase their maturity and they increase their effectiveness. And PMO needs to make sure that the level and uh, they can provide the, the system that they implement and the process implement, they can provide enough information for management uh, to make sure that management can make the decision. And at the same time, that the teams that are using this process and living within those process, they're still effective and they can, or they can all work together. And we found that companies use multiple tools at the same time. Uh, they can use both the Jira and Visual Studio for different use. They can use the project and planner and, and teams. So and besides that, there are tools like Trello. There are uh, there are tools from Git, and we are not talking we are talking about very specialized tool like the service now. It's still the landscape of the tool is 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 very wide, and that's a that's a reality. That's a trend that's happening in the market. Uh, if you talk about the executives and the PMO teams, need to be efficient. Uh, executives and PMO need to understand everything about the portfolio visibility. They everything needs to be transferred to the organization. I need to see as an executive if I want to understand where, what is the state of my project, which projects are being completed, what we are working on, which projects are starting in next uh, tomorrow or in next month or in next quarter. I need to understand and management need to understand the load for resources. What is the utilization? Do I have anyone available? 
uh, are we under capacity or over capacity? Very important aspect in general of every organization is uh, every organization, pretty much every organization is uh, to make money uh, and uh, proper budgeting and financial management pr practice, they need to be in place. And that's very, very tightly related to the project because majority of the work uh, modern organization do, it's a, pro it's a project work. It's an internal project, external project, but it's still all the project. And one of the aspects of the project, it's, it's time, resources, and money. Uh, management needs data. The only way for management to make a right decision and decision quickly is, and those decisions are correct if they're based on the data. So it's very critical that management can access all the information and data about the projects uh, instantly. Uh, it should be uh, it should be available in very easy way and it can be easily consumed. And another point that it's not, uh, it's not many organizations don't uh, don't pay attention to that, unfortunately. And our goal as a Fluent Pro as well to try to educate and show the importance uh, of this of the system is infrastructure control disaster recovery. Everyone lives in the cloud, uh, and we have a lot of the reliability with cloud systems, especially from Microsoft Azure uh, and all, all, all the entire Office 365 uh, system. But at the same time, lots of organizations ignoring, ignoring the facts of human errors and uh, people deleting projects, uh, losing data, deleting data from SharePoint sites. You need to have that control. You need to make sure that you have backup, you have a solution and answers for disaster recovery and uh, that if you need to scale solution, if you need to duplicate something, and if you need to make change to your configurations and infrastructure, you have tools, uh, tools and means to do that. Today, we will focus mostly on Microsoft landscape. Uh, Microsoft Project Online is Office of offering for Office 365, Planner, Office Groups, Teams, it's all part of the Office 365 family. And today we'll mostly talk about that. Uh, our solution, the same concept can be applicable to solution companies using both Project Online and Jira, or Project Online and Trello. It's still applicable, but today's focus is uh, Planner, Microsoft Project Online and Teams. Microsoft Office 365 Planner, very lightweight uh, system for task management or work management. Very easy to use, very popular, used right now by hundreds of thousands of organizations. We have customers uh, at Freedom Pro who, who use a project online and uh, and planner, and some organizations have 100 plans, some organizations have several plans with hundreds of tasks and uh, tens of tens of buckets of, of information. So it's a uh, since it's very easy to use and very visually configured organization like it, uh, it's lightweight and lots of the teams can can use it for for managing their task and very often especially for low matured organization or companies moving from excel that's a huge step that's uh, or teams moving from excel that's a huge step forward to start keeping all the information the same in in, in one place uh, teams it's integral part right now for microsoft uh, for collaboration companies use we use teams for several years at fluent pro Companies use Teams to organize all their collaboration work. Uh, and uh, right now on the Teams, you can embed so many uh, apps that you can add. You can embed the planner, you can embed project online uh, to, for, for specific projects. So you can embed Jira, you can embed Power Bear Report. So it's a huge number of, uh, of opportunities that you have. And it's central, it's one of the central pieces to Microsoft, uh, Microsoft uh, strategy in the di digital uh, modern workspace and digital workspace. So if you're talking about the Microsoft Project Online, I'm sure that everyone is familiar. It's PPM offering from Microsoft. It's a platform for, I would say, the traditional uh, project management. It's not supporting the agile on the web. Uh, there is an agile support on the on the project line, so platform can be used for managing agile project as traditional waterfall waterfall project. But the beauty of Project Online is that it brings a lot of the enterprise level capabilities. It's not just a repository of, of all the project. It gives you it gives organization capability for the resource management, enterprise wide resource management, time reporting, uh, dashboarding, it provides the ability for portfolio analysis and prioritization. So real scale enterprise-wide solution. And the beauty is that what we found that 
organization can scale the solution they can they can extend the project online as they grow as more departments land uh, using the tools uh, and you know increasing in maturity so it's a centerpiece for uh, for enterprise uh, project and portfolio management and our approach uh, in general in the PPM in the PPM vision is that you need a configuration. It can be custom or it can be pre-configured. You need reporting. You need some data analysis. You need configuration management, disaster recovery. You need integration. For large organization with, with a number of legal requirements, maybe they need to have the audit trail uh, and uh, you need someone to support your organization. So it's all aspects of the PPM implementation and it's still in the PMO landscape. The PMO need to account and need to plan for all those activities. It's all part successful PMO uh, that needs to be to be addressed. Gartner say that with that abundance of the tools, uh, organization need to integrate to connect systems. In today's webinar, we'll talk about again as I mentioned, it's Office 365. So. Today we'll talk about that. Okay, let's assume that you have Project Online where face your enterprise uh, enterprise PPM PPM tool. Uh, it can be the department level PM or IT PM or it can or can be EPMO, and you have a, a team that are using Planner. For example, your marketing team, your HR team, your financial team might use might use the Planner. But uh, management needs to see all that project, all that information in one place. And the way to do it is you can connect. Microsoft Project Online in Planner. You can bring the information, all the information from Planner to Project Online. Or you can bring, uh, you can push some information from Project Online to the teams in Planner and and, uh, and connect and, and connect them with them there. Or you can do like uh, selective uh, selective visibility. For example, maybe you don't need to, to bring from Planner very small small projects, but if if that's a project that you need to have that visibility. So it's kind of like it can be a very hybrid model, very flexible model, and fluent Pro has a solution called Integration Hub that brings that connectivity between the Microsoft Project Online and Planner, and we have different integration scenarios that that we de we described here, uh, which allow you to connect uh, to connect all those systems together. Uh, very important aspect, uh, as we mentioned, of the, of, of organizations and especially for. Uh, top management and the PMO, it's make sh making sure that for every project there's a budget, that you have implemented the financial discipline for your in your organization, that you track the budget for plan, you plan the budget, you track actuals, you track, uh, you do the for you uh, do the, you baseline your budget, you, you see the deviation of variances for financial variances for for your project. So, and Traditionally, and still unfortunately, we find that an organization, that the organization use Excel. Uh, I would ha I would happy to say that there is a solution uh, that you need to stop using Excel. There is a very uh, lightweight solution for budgeting and finance. It's called the Fluent Pro, uh, Fluent Pro of, uh, Financials. You can create budgets. You can track actuals. You can do the baseline. You can compare. You can see that information. You can create different categories. You can understand what was the budget, what how much we spent, what is the remaining budget. Are we on track? And that's all part. That's all integrated with Project Online. Next component and very important is as we go through that list for requirements for the modern PMO, it's reporting. Yes, we have Planner, we have Microsoft Project Online, we have our financial data. How do I get insight? What is my portfolio budget? What is my resource utilization? What are my projects? How I can see what is, how can I see visually when the, when, uh, what are the project done uh, will start in November? And Easy reporting uh, using the Power BI, they can answer answer all those questions. You can run reports and and get that all, all all that information. And the last point about the infrastructure management is that, uh, as I mentioned, imagine that someone goes and deletes a project. Maybe you have a locally saved copy on someone someone's computer that can upload, but it can be days or weeks of, of work lost. You need to make sure that you have a solution for data archival, for backup and restore. Uh, for larger SAR organization, the good practices in the IT is to make sure that you have development, test, 
training, production environments. And that means that you need to have tools that can support the configuration that you, if you make change in development and the business requires some configuration change that you can verify those change, test it and automatically move them betwe between different environment, that you can copy your project online PWA, that you can maybe replicate it, that you can document and uh, perform some health check and analysis. And Freelandfork has a tool called the GA Suite. Uh, it's our government's administration suite for project online that supports that. And later this year, we will uh, you know, we'll be we are extending the solution to support more products from Office 365 platform. Uh, so you will be able to do to do more infrastructure management within these tools. And again, like it sounds like a technology, but it still it still relates very much to what the PMO uh, is responsible for. It's make sure that the platform that is selected that it supports. Organiz organization needs and that organization needs its finances, projects, processes, infrastructure, uh, reporting. It's still, it's all falls into the PMO, PMO responsibility and PMO need to need to have a tools to to control all those uh, all those aspects. So let's switch to to demo. I will uh, I won't spend uh, half an hour there, so we'll we'll click quickly go over the tools. Let's go to my project online. So if I go to home page, that's a typical uh, Microsoft Project Online uh, instance. It's our PWA. Uh, here I can have a slightly organized menu. I can go here to my portfolio management, and that's my standard uh, project center where I see my where I see my project. This environment was configured to support uh, connectivity using our protocol integration hub. And in this case, you can see that uh, some projects are managed in Jira, some projects are managed in Planner, some projects are managed in VSTS. And that's a reality that you can you can have. You can have multiple projects from uh, from several uh, projects uh, that are managed in several environments to be replicated or to be reflected for portfolio visibility in your uh, in your PWA. In this case, for example, if I go to my project here in Planner called the marketing campaign for PPM module 2018, I can have my breakdown that I created here in Project Online. And what I can do is I can uh, see that uh, I can control to which Planner bucket I should go and should I sync it with this Planner. At the same time, if I go to my Planner, I have my marketing campaign plan here in my in my planner. I have my my backends and I have my test. And here I can see that okay, the task estimation is complete in planner, and that's exactly that's exactly reflected uh, reflected here in uh, in in in. In PWA, that it's it, it is complete. If I mark if I mark any task here uh, or reorganize task or change dates, uh, Integration Hub runs on the schedule, uh, and you can see you can see uh, you can see all those all the information flowing between the system. As I mentioned, in Integration Hub we support several uh, several scenarios. Uh, where you can where you can pick for for example for planner we have three scenarios so portfolio visibility project management and progress progress tracking where you can define you can add those additional scenarios and and and, uh, and support them in the system all the scenarios they work they work on schedule uh, you can define all those synchronization schedule you can run them every 10 minutes every five minutes every hour and the system will look for the change in both system in project online or in the planner and will uh, will will synchronize all the all that information back if it if we take a look on our project here we have a tab called the project financials and on the project financials uh, tab uh, we have a financial aspect of our project we can have uh, our budget uh, that we defined for for my project and i can have multiple categories here i can view it on the yearly monthly view quarterly view here i can decide if i want to see the baseline or i don't want to see the baseline i can see uh, you can highlight the var variances uh, in in your budget so it's all integrated in this case this project is created and initiated in project online i know that my team is using planner i push this this project to planner Immediately, my team can see it in planner, start work and reporting the progress, and I can have all that information updated in the schedule. Same time, I have my budget here and uh, baseline detailed budget 
compared to what I have, what I can have in the schedule in Project Pro that I can define uh, based on the on the on the categories uh, that I can uh, that I can manage that I can use. We can use a multiple multiple reporting solution. I have several reports here. I have I have power I have my Power BI for Planner where I can use I can I can report against all of the plans that I have that I have in my in in my plan. For example, if I go here for more plans, I have multiple plans here. I can go to Planner Hub. I can see my my plans. I can go to one of the plans, and you see okay, its its plan looks like completely uh, all tasks here completely completed. Can I do can I run some reports? Absolutely. We have a we have a Power BI pack for planners that can show all that information across all my all my plans active. And again, here is my it's my plans that came from Project Online for execution. And you can see the information both from planner and you can see the information from using the reporting uh, report pack for Project Online. You can see it there as well. Uh, in this case, for example, I can go to my plan. I can drill down to uh, to plan overview. I can see my uh, information, assignment task, uh, some some details, some details here. I can go to pick here one of my plans and see details for that plan. Okay, that's my bucket, that's my tasks. Uh, some are complete, some are not 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 complete here. I can see assignment overview for my uh, for 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 my users. I can see user user governance uh, where I can filter the information for a specific for a specific uh, for a specific plan, or I can do the data quality and check check if if any of the project has issue uh, within its its data uh, for project for project reporting for example i can go to power bi pack uh, that we that we'll be introducing shortly at as fluent pro where i can see all that all my information for example i can see my portfolio and i can see i can see it, uh, work view cost view art value view i can see the details about my portfolio my, my portfolio this uh, this list of projects with all the all, all the details so it's it's all integrated it's all in power bi uh, and you can aspect again like you can see you can take a look on the data from uh, from project online uh, perspective and that's why maybe the view for uh, that's maybe a view for executive to see big picture with everything folding into project online uh, or for division manager or light manager where they have where they, their team manage uh, project in using the microsoft planner you can see that information just in planner using the power bi reporting pack for planner where you can get that information uh, or executive and you would like again like you would like to see more information but from the financial standpoint you would like to check your project and see okay what is our forecast what is the baseline for for our project uh, can i see the cost cost break the breakdown by by months or by by quarter for my for my project we have available power bi pack for for financials module uh, where you can do that analysis and take a look into uh, into all those all those projects and see and see all the details. Here you can analyze it from the category stand, standpoint. And the beauty why we like and why we talk about the financial is as integral part of the solution is that uh, you can have budgets for projects coming from planner. It means that you can start do using, I wouldn't use the word normal, but you can apply the same standard practices, uh, enterprise practice for all the project, no matter uh, what is the origin of those projects. Is it Planner? Is it VSTS? Uh, is it a Jira? Use, or, it's a, uh, or it's maybe maybe SharePoint. You can still bring that information to Project Online. You can attach plans and you can track the execution. You can track uh, variances and you can do all the standard financial management uh, and financial controlling uh, processes uh, that are uh, that exist in your in your organization this across all the projects in your organization this integrated solution you you can bring all that information together project online acts as a standard central central piece for top management for pmo to use your teams are fully flexible to use the tools that uh, that exist in your landscape and the only magic magic that is happening is connecting 
those systems to Project Online. You just need to have a way, it's one-way connection or two-way connection data synchronization between those tools. But as, so, as soon as you create that link, you create, you integrate your system, you can benefit from the full visibility and understand and management can understand finally what's happening in Skagerson, what is the budget, what is the progress, uh, what's coming, what's done. Uh, using the very advanced, uh, very advanced report that, that we provide as uh, we provide as Fluent Pro. If you go back to our, our presentation, is as quick summary, this the from what we started. Uh, teams need to have flexibility to use it to the tool that they uh, that they need. By implementing the Microsoft Project Online and connecting your system, you uh, you increasing constantly increasing organizational maturity you have you take more and more control over your projects and how you manage and execute a project you can by connecting all those systems you get the complete visibility of every of all the projects that are being executed in organization and what's coming so you can better address those issues uh, resource shortage financial shortage and you can better plan which project to execute using the portfolio analysis but you need to see everything that's happening in organization. With financial control, you you don't have those gaps, you don't have those uh, black holes, uh, and you you know you can plan better for your uh, for your financial finances for projects, since you will you will have that big picture. And with the use of Power BI for reporting, uh, you can absolutely use different packs for different systems so you can combine you can build a dashboard that can get that information from uh, from all the system from project line from financials from planner and show that on single dashboard or use those reports and drill down to very specific details uh, of specific specific projects that's our that's our vision for modern PMO the uh, we believe that find, uh, the integrating, uh, integrating and connecting the system is a critical part, as well as financial financial control. And for uh, this data volume, don't forget about the disaster recovery and infrastructure management because it's it it is critical. We know that our companies delete projects. You know we face those issues and they happy when they have a backup and they can restore a roll roll back it for two days ago and say. Perfect. I have a backup. I can continue. So please let me know if you have any questions. Uh, that concludes my, my webinar today. Uh, all those tools are available. In fact, they are free on the Office Store. Uh, we have free editions for Integration Hub. We have free edition for our financial, Fluent Pro Financials. Uh, we have inexpensive solution for planner for, for reporting. So if you Already, you know, using and living in the Microsoft Office 3 landscape, you can start for free or for very little. Try those pieces to put them together, and our team can help you with that. Uh, if you if you need any if you need any help, but it's all available. It's all on the App Source or Office Store, as it was called before. So just go and add those applications to PWA, and you can start implementing those practices. There's no rug, It's not a uh, rocket science. There's no magic. It's apps that are available, and everyone can start using it right now. Thank you. Again, my name was Anton Kravtsov. Uh, I'm from Fluent Pro, and feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions. Thank you, and have a great day.